Hello ladies and gentlemen, Holotide here, and today we're going to talk about everything that we know that is coming with Season 3, things that are rumored to come with Season 3, everything you need to know to prepare for Season 3, including dates. And the first thing that you need to know is that I am doing a Battle Pass giveaway, or just a thousand credits, to do what you want with. The link to the giveaway will be in the description and in the comments. Also, if you love Halo and don't want to hear people complain about the game 24-7, I would greatly appreciate a sub. We are grinding away to 15,000 subscribers on this channel, and I think you would be an awesome addition to our community. All right, let's get into the actual video. According to 343, the new season will be a big one for Halo Infinite. The biggest one for Halo Infinite so far, bringing with it new maps, new modes, a new weapon, a new equipment item cosmetics, battle passes, all types of fun stuff. So in total, there will be four new maps coming to Halo Infinite with Season 3. On launch, we get Oasis, which is the BTB map, and two arena maps, Cliffhanger and Chasm. And later on, it has been confirmed that we will get the Halo 5 remake of Plaza. The update will also add some game modes including Escalation Slayer, which is similar to Call of Duty's gun game, where you get a new weapon after each kill, blah, blah, blah. You work your way through... And then you finally win the game. And then VIP was also shown in a graphic for Season 3 as a mode that was coming. So I haven't seen anything from 343 saying that it's going to be here now after that graphic. But I think that it might play into one of the events later on in the season. We're also getting the Bandit Rifle, which is basically the DMR without a scope. But honestly, it feels more like the Halo 5 Magnum. I'm super excited for that. I think when you add new weapons and equipment into the sandbox, it really helps. The game feel fresh and alive. And speaking of new equipment, we're getting the Shroud Screen, which looks like a super high-tech smoke grenade, kind of. It's very cool. We'll see how the pros use it. I do know that it's going to replace some things on uh, maps that have, like, the thruster. We might also see some things launch in a beta form, uh, such as a progression system, but that's unconfirmed. We're also going to get Forge beta updates. And hopefully we see more community-made maps hitting that community playlist. They said that they want to do a BTB version, so fingers crossed. I think that we're going to see that this season as well. Of course, there's going to be a new 100-level battle pass once again, which will bring things back to where they were before the winter updates 30 level battle pass so obviously that's going to go live on march 7th and that first week that it launches we will get the mindfall event with a event battle pass that will unlock items for the mirage core on march 21st we get the fracture event firewall which will feature the chimera core also we get new hds coatings and the most important coating of all is probably the pizza one. The store will probably be bussin'. I think that they've probably saved a lot of uh, store stuff over the last two seasons, winter update, to kind of have a, a brand new showcase for things that they can offer in the game. That's why I think they were recycling a lot of things. Just like the new weekly capstone rewards, they had to recycle those for the winter update. So we're going to get new weekly rewards. We also have that narrative tied into the season featuring the Spartan Din. We know these will include new cinematics and some elaboration on the lore within the universe. I hope and pray that it's good better than the previous seasons. I also think that we're going to see more surprises during this season, so stay tuned to this channel if you want to stay up to date. That being said, if I missed anything, I'm, I'm sure I might have. There's so much coming in Season 3. Let me know in the comments down below. We're not covering, like, leaks or anything like that, things that haven't been really confirmed, but feel free to put stuff in the comments that I missed. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like down below. It really, really, really does help me out. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, and I will catch you around the ring. Peace!